All right, um, we're going to talk about a world vegetation map today. So this is our new theme, uh, vegetation map. And we're talking about thematic maps, maps with different themes or topics. So here we go, the world vegetation map. Uh, so the first question is, just let's take an observation. What are you seeing? All right, write a few of those things down, and let's go on to our next question. So what do the colors on the map represent? So should we look in for specific information about the colors there? Uh, and then go ahead and tell me what it is that um, the colors mean. And you don't have to list all the colors. You can just give me a general idea. All right, so the question here is, where is desert scrub vegetation found? Um, and so, again, you want to remember that vegetation is simply like the things that grow in a particular area. Um, so in general, what type of climate is found there? So we're looking for scrub, desert scrub vegetation, and then uh, what kind of climate do you think it is that we're talking about? So take a look. So where does it live, and what, how, what would you predict in terms of the type of climate there? Uh, what types of vegetation are found near the equator? So take a look, see if you can find the equator. Remember, it's a, a line of... <clears throat> a line of latitude um, so that runs from east to west so take a look if you can find it and then see if you can figure out which type of vegetation grows there all right in general what type of climate would we find there where the equator runs how would we describe that type of climate remember climate being a long period of weather over time. Okay, why do you think desert scrub is found in arid climates, another word for dry climates, uh, while tropic tropical grassland and broadleaf evergreens forests are located in tropical climates? So we're talking about jungles and things like that. So why is it that we see uh, desert scrub in dry climates, and why is it that we see broadleaf evergreen and tropical grasslands in tropical climates? All right, what type of vegetation would you find along the Nile River? So if you're not familiar with where the Nile River is, we're talking this area right here. Here's the Nile River, the longest river in the world. And take a look at this little part in particular. It's a red color. So take a look at what type of uh, vegetation zone we're talking about in this little red area right here. So what, why is it that that little strip of land here on the Nile River, why is it that this has a broadleaf evergreen forest, so like a jungle type uh, vegetation? Why would that area have that type of vegetation when we see around it is all desert and desert scrub? All right, uh, what other patterns do you see in the locations of various vegetation zones? So are there any patterns that you see uh, in terms of these vegetation zones? What, what, think about other maps that we've seen and just look for generalities. Besides climate, what else might help cause these patterns? So if climate is one thing, what else might cause some of the patterns that we see on the map. And if you got any questions, write down at least one question uh, in general about this map. Uh, then you'll wrap up your little tutorial here on vegetation zones. And remember, inquiry-based. Answer the questions. Don't give me I don't know answers. Think about it. Look at it. Study it. Uh, work for it. All right.